Whatever you want, you gotta go take it. No. Ain't nobody can give it to you. Let's go take what we want. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Over the first nine games of the season, the Las Vegas Raiders defense was ranked, I believe, was number 28 in the NFL in points per game at 25.1. So they were 2-7 and seven and in the running to pick interior defensive lineman Jalen Carter in the 2023 NFL Draft. There were actually some so-called Raider fans that wanted them to tank for him, but thank God they didn't. You could lose the whole team and not get them back doing that. The Raiders then got a gift in the 2019 first-round pick Jerry Tillery, who was waived by the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers said they cut him because he has maturity issues, but some in league circles said they just didn't know how to use him. So which one is true? Both. His unsportsmanlike conduct penalty late in Thursday night's game against the Los Angeles Rams was not helpful to the Raiders at all, but since he's been a Raider, Tillery's had a big impact on the Raider defense. They badly needed a pass rush and he has majorly improved it. The Raiders went from .9 sacks per game to 3.75 per game with Tillery. They've only given up 21.75 points per game since his arrival too. I start with the bad. The objective is to help the Raiders win, not help them lose. Here's a sack with a minute 20 left and Tillery's going to walk up to the quarterback and do this. They can't have that and Tillery has to identify where the double team is coming from and take it on properly. He doesn't hear. Sometimes when he's playing the run, it seems like he's helping the offensive lineman take him out of the play. I don't see any fight here. It's like he's willingly staying blocked. There are times he can locate the ball better too. Where are you going? He can play the run though, and I'll show it later. But first I have to show something that doesn't show up in the stat sheet or combine scores. If you want to judge a defensive lineman's character, watch to see if he runs to the ball. He didn't make the play, but he ran to the ball. That matters a lot. You don't want to see just Max Crosby running everywhere. And along with that hustle, he has some wheels for a big man. That's a 300 pounder running like that. This isn't going to be a good rush here, but instead of being down about it, he's going to put his head down and hustle. And no, he's not going to make the play again, but the more people you get to the ball, the better. Now when he's right, with his length and strength, he's very stout against the run. He's a good two-gapper that can extend his arms and throw his man away and make the play when the ball gets there. Here it is again, extend his hands, throw his man to the side, get to the ball. He can also use his speed and quickness to get to the ball. Watch the spin move. Big man with spin move. You know I love when a big man has a spin move. He was going to use his hands to keep the blocker off him and use his speed and quickness. Now watch how disruptive he is on this run.
Now with the pass rush, taking on the double teams benefits others. Chandler Jones gets a little pressure as a result of a one-on-one. -on -one. Here Hillary's going to take the double team again and the rest of the defensive line is going to chase the quarterback around. Trayvon Merrick should have had that too. You double Tillery, that means Max Crosby's one on one. You know what's going to happen then. This time Jones beats his one on one blocking, but safety Isaiah Palomao is the one that comes up with the sack. Fellow interior defensive lineman Bilal Nichols has picked it up since Tillery got here too. Nichols had no sacks in the nine games before he got here, and a sack and a half in the four games since he got here. Tillery also chases quarterbacks into his defensive line mates. Big man with spin move again. I love it. Here he's going to chase Los Angeles Chargers quarterback Justin Herbert into Crosby, and he's going to have to throw it away. And here he's going to flush Russell Wilson from the pocket. On this one, Herbert's gonna get away, but Chandler Jones gets him. He was gonna flush Herbert right into Jones. And here he's gonna do it again. He almost gets him himself this time. Hillary doesn't have a sack since he's been a Raider, but he has gotten close. He was going to get there on the stunt and not quite. And watching this game live, I wanted him to get this one so badly, but again, not quite. All right, this one isn't that close, but you know why I showed it. Big man with spin move. And on this one, Los Angeles Rams quarterback Baker Mayfield just gets rid of it. All right, I think that unsportsmanlike conduct rule is kind of stupid just for slapping the ball out of his hand. But you know what? You knew the rules before the game, so don't do it. The Raiders don't need knuckleheads. All knuckleheads do is lose them games at the end. But what they do need is the impact of his play. Remember, 0.9 sacks per game without him and 3.75 sacks with him. The 25.1 points per game without him was good for number 28 in the league. And if they played at that 21.75 point per game clip during the whole season, they would be number 13 in the league. That's a big impact. Thank you for watching. See you next time.